in the back towns. Look at, look at that. We're, we're, we're in Nebraska, kitty. That is 16 states you've been in already since you're since you've been born, since you left Alabama. In your short little life. You've been quite a few places. You you really don't care though, do you? You, you don't care. Do you care? Do you care? Yeah? Oh, okay. No, you you don't. Well, that's enough, kitty. On with the show. Pretty sweet intro, right? Yes, since I had so many videos in the can, I've been able to goof around with uh, different programs and stuff. I'm thinking about starting a business if people want uh, intros and outros for their videos if you're starting a YouTube channel or something like that. I'm thinking about creating them, so if you want one similar to that, I got hundreds and hundreds of templates. So if you're thinking about it, get with me. I'll make you one. Anyway, now that the cat is over there, I made a quick stop here just outside of Mankato, Minnesota. Yeah, this is Minnesota. I don't know. I was thinking Mankato, Illinois. That probably doesn't exist. But I'm in Mankato, or just outside of Mankato, Minnesota, and I use an application uh, quite a bit called Roadside America. As a matter of fact, I'm featured in two of the articles in Roadside America. Pretty awesome. Obviously, the Superman statue is one of them because I go there quite a bit. But I use that application to find crazy things out here across America that I might want to stop and see. And it just so happens that at the moment, right across the street over that way, I found one. It's called the Happy Chef. And this is supposedly the very last Happy Chef. Whoop, come back on phone. It says, last survivor of an iconic franchise roadside eatery. This is the only remaining Happy Chef restaurant once with a talking spoon hosting Happy Chef statue. So that's what we're here to see today, is this statue. I know that it's still a restaurant also here with where this statue sits, it's still an open restaurant. So it's the last one and I would really love to enjoy a meal within it. And I, I, I probably will, but just not today because I've already eaten. I had no idea that I would be traveling down this same road that this incredible place would be located on. Otherwise, I, I would have let my tummy growl for just a little bit. Just, well, just a little bit longer. So out here in the middle of the wilderness, on a back Minnesota road. It's actually here. Look at this, guys. Are you ready for the reveal? Happy Chef Restaurant. Dun, dun, dun. When I read the thing in Roadside America, which I, I just read to you, it said he had once a talking spoon. But I don't see, I don't, I, don't, I don't see how that spoon would talk. It doesn't look like it could be animated. But it is definitely ginormous and fantastic. Now, I don't know what else I'm going to find on this journey. I'm actually going to take my time now because I have so many videos in the can that I can do my best to find crazy things like this and not rush to make video after video after video with zero content. I mean, that's that's pretty sweet content right there. That That's a pretty neat find. And other than being just on the side of the road, it's in a pretty beautiful location. Especially this time of year. I'm not exactly sure what else I'm going to be able to do at the moment. One thing I'm really looking forward to is those clouds. Hopefully they'll rain a little bit. Because I don't know how much longer I could drive with all these bugs on my window. Well, I decided to find another quaint little town with a, another cool little roadside attraction. With another incredible place that I can take some photos with that lens ball. 
I, I mean, I don't, I, in my head, I, I think it's a incredible place to use that little crystal ball fun thing. I walk the streets here, past some of these old houses. This is kind of something I find in small towns that's really unique. Sometimes you'll find these towns that have old buildings like this, like like this town, and look at this. There's little signs out here that tell you the years that the house was built. That's why I like coming to small towns like this. It's just the uniqueness. They take pride in the buildings that are in their towns. So if... I think I first noticed that in Eddington, North Carolina, where houses like that would have little placards out there of when the houses were built. Where I live, the town I live in, they, they don't do that. The bad news is, it's after 5 p.m., so another time I come to this town, I'm not going to be able to go inside the museum because I'm, I'm sure it's closed. It kind of sucks because this museum has eluded me for at least seven months. I've stopped in here three times and pretty much all three times it's been closed. Sign on the door states 4 p.m. Closed Wednesdays and Sundays. I don't know why it's closed Wednesdays. I mean I understand religious purposes or something like that. Some businesses do close on Sundays and this is one of them but the times that I'm always here and passing by it, it's just never the right time and I want I want to go I want to come and see the gnomes look at the funness here you could find them on Facebook they're having a midsummer in Sweden June 24th that might be fun One of the reasons I wanted to stop here and use the lens ball, it, well, it's directly in front of me. It's right, you see that? That! What can I do, and I, I wanna use the lens ball in this, I, I, I just gotta figure out where to place it to get that perfect shot. This thing is so cool, what I did or what I'm thinking about doing, not what I did yet, but what you guys will see if you look at my Instagram, is there's a little water puddle there. So I set the ball in the water puddle and got down on the ground. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm acting like I already did it. But I think I'm gonna set it here. Whoop. Yeah, because if I do this, come up with it. That could be a pretty cool shot if it works. We'll see. If so, I'm going to put it in probably right here. Yeah, I definitely want to come here when the museum's open. And from the looks of it, there's a, a little celebration. That, what What are you doing? Well, hello. Looky here. Let's, let's get out of the road. I'll pitch you over here. I'll pitch you over here. Look at everybody is so friendly here. Everybody is so friendly. Well, you're actually, you're the only one I've ever met so far but you you seem really nice and, and you got some friends over here who, who are these guys look that what a beautiful dog look at this. Is this, and look at these guys they're happy too oh oh that's what you, you cut them their food I thought they were just they were talking to me uh, hello uh, she's getting your food She's getting your, well, you coming to, see, well, you can come and see me. Come on, let's see here. Here, look at here. Here, oh, look at there. You want to eat? Well, you put your foot, you, you, did you just put your foot down to me? Here, let's get one of these guys. You want that? No? Well, no, I think they are. They're waiting for you. They, they, I, you, you're happier to see me anyway. Oh, and look at there's someone else coming. Well, I just wanted to stop. Hopefully, I you know I've been I parked my truck here 
a bunch of times. Every time, museums closed. Yeah, they closed at four. Yeah, I never, I never able to get in. But gotta see you. you uh, I don't have their phone number, but sometimes if you know that when you're going to be in, mm -hmm. sometimes they will make a special. Well, it, it, you can make an appointment with them and, and go through it. Different uh, hours. It's kind of fun being a surprise. It's fun being, I want to be surprised when it's open. Look, you stay out of the road, there's a car coming. Their hours change in the winter. Well, this year. Are you going to be here in the morning? No, I'm, I'm on my way back to Florida. Oh. So, but I, I come by here a lot. Okay. Now I got a friend here. Now I got a friend. She's not supposed to be past her boundaries, but well, I, the lady I that works over here, she just loves her. Uh, Abby, Abby, please do boundaries. The cat knows its boundaries. Yes. Well, it was a pleasure meeting you, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Uh, well, thank you so much, and bye. I, do you think they get mad if I walked over here and took pictures? Oh, well, thank you so much. Uh, you stay. Boundaries. Boundaries. She knows our boundaries. Wow. So, I guess if I notify them that I'm coming by, they'll they'll stay open for me, but... Like I told her, I want it to be a surprise. I want to, I want to make it here, and not force them to, hey, you know, stay here just for me. I, I don't want that. But it's something I definitely want to go inside. It has been eluding me, and this establishment looks rather, rather, rather large, large, large. Boy, I'm saying words over and over because I'm speechless. Standing out inside of a amazing statue like that it, it just leaves you speechless gigantic building here it's either two-story or just has a really high indoor roof I don't know but walking around the outside there is other parts of the museum with a little boardwalk here an old general store This Huckster Heritage Exhibits. Well, that's a that's a massive door. Doesn't look like it's not locked. It's not locked. <coughs> I could probably slide this open, but if I did, there's some bird nests up here. I don't I don't, don't want to disturb the birds, so I don't know how they open the. Oh, it's in a slider, so. I guess you could open it without disturbing the bird nest. But there is an exhibit inside. And this place alone here is on the... Play, it, it's part of the National Registry of Historic Places. This building here is... It's me! It's me! Look at this place. It's, it's beautiful. Sheep over there are noisy, and one of them, he's, he's looking for me, even though he wouldn't let me pet him. I, I don't know why. The dog came over, the cat came over, the sheep came over. Oh, she's bringing him more food. She's over there bringing him more food. All town living in a Swedish community. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and sign off and continue on down the road. And I will talk to you on the next one. If you like this video, please think about subscribing. If you are a subscriber, please think about giving this a thumbs up. And I will con continue on. And I'm going to do more work with that editing software that I found where I can do uh, intros and outros. I've only created intros so far, but I'm going to work on some outros. So until the next time... Keep an eye out for them. Stay till the end of the video because they, they, they will appear eventually. Just not in this one. Until the next time, guys, I love you all. Peace out, everybody.